Welcome to TLH Patterns. Today we are going to see how to crochet a pair of leg warmers. The size that I am showing you today will fit an average adult leg. However, if you want to make changes, you can do so. I will show you how to do it later on. The circumference is 28 centimeters, which is approximately 11 inches, and the height is 40 centimeters, that is 15.75 inches. It will reach up to your knees. You will need uh, one and a half balls of uh, medium worsted weight yarn, each weighing 100 grams, and uh, a 5 mm crochet hook. And I used a 4 mm hook for the lower cuff alone so that uh, the cuff stays snug around the ankles. You can see the texture of this yarn is fuzzy. You can use any yarn, any worsted weight, medium worsted weight yarn. Just make sure that your gauge matches with mine which is 13 double crochets in 4 inches. Now start with a slip knot. I am using the 4 mm crochet hook for the cuff. Now make 42 chains and this is for the average adult leg. Um, if you want it in any other sizes, you can increase or decrease the initial chains in multiples of 3. Just remember that uh, this will uh, have plenty of stretch. So make the circumference 3 or 4 inches smaller than your actual calf circumference. Now after making 42 chains, join the last chain with a slip stitch to the first chain without twisting the chains. Then make chain 3. This will count as your first stitch. And then work double crochet in each chain around. So by the end of the round, you will have 42 stitches. This will be your first round. If you want the leg warmers to go above your knees, then measure your thigh circumference and make chains accordingly. Um, the chains will need to be in multiples of 3. At the end of round, join the last stitch with a slip stitch to the third chain. You will have 42 double crochets. Start the next round with chain 1. This chain 1 will not count as a stitch. First, you will make a front post double crochet in the first stitch. To make a front post double crochet stitch, yawn over, insert hook from front to back and again to front i'll show you once again yawn over insert hook from front to back and bring the hook again to the front of the stitch and then pull yawn yawn over pull through two loops on the hook again yawn over and pull through two loops so this is your front post double crochet stitch the next will be a back post double crochet stitch so yawn over insert hook from back to front and then take the hook back again so you're pushing the stitch back and now yarn over and pull yarn you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops this is your back post double crochet stitch then work a front post double crochet stitch yarn over insert hook from front to back and bring the hook to front again pushing the stitch to the front yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook once again yarn over and pull through two loops this is your front post double crochet stitch next we'll work a back post double crochet stitch for that yarn over insert hook from back to front then to back again so you're pushing the stitch to the back and now yarn over pull hook yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two loops so alternate front post double crochet and back post double crochet around
the last stitch is a back post double crochet stitch so when the round is completed join with a slip stitch to the first stitch that is your first front post double crochet stitch you will repeat this round four more times so the next round chain one front post double crochet in the first front post double crochet stitch next is back post double crochet you can see the vertical line so you will work around that stitch so make a back post double crochet in the back post double crochet stitch repeat working front post double crochet in uh, front post double crochet stitches and back post double crochet in all the back post double crochet stitches this is your third round repeat this for your fourth and fifth rounds Now join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. So now we have completed the first 5 rounds of the ribbing part. The first round being the double crochet round and the next 4 rounds the FPDC and the BPDC rounds. Now change to your 5mm crochet hook. Make chain 3. This will count as the first stitch and work double crochet in every stitch around so you have already worked the first stitch and now go to the next bpdc stitch and make a double crochet then double crochet in the next front post double crochet stitch double crochet in the back post double crochet stitch so work double crochets around you will have 42 stitches Now join with a slip stitch to the third chain. Next round, chain 3. This is your first stitch. Now make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then work a double crochet in the stitch that is previous to the first stitch so make a double crochet in the stitch that is before the starting three chain you might have to extend the stitch a little bit and now work your usual double crochet stitch so this forms a slanting line then skip one stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches and now work a double crochet in the skipped stitch this forms a slanting line repeat this around so skip next stitch work double crochet in the next two stitches and then work a double crochet in the skipped stitch
due to the texture of this yarn you cannot see those lines very distinctly but um, if you use some other yarn then you will be able to see those slanted lines Now join with a slip stitch to the third chain. This is a very simple pattern. You will be repeating only this round throughout. Start the next round with chain 3 and work a double crochet in the next stitch. Now double crochet in the previous stitch that will be the last stitch or the slanted stitch of the previous set of three double crochets then skip the next stitch which would be the slanted stitch and work double crochets in the next two stitches Then work double crochet in the skipped stitch. Skip next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches and then double crochet in the skipped stitch. Repeat this around. And also repeat the round until you reach a total height of 35 centimeters. So here I repeated round 7 until I reached a total height of uh, about 35 centimeters. To adjust the length you can increase or decrease the number of rows repeated. And uh, the next round will be a double crochet round. Start with chain 3 and work double crochets in each stitch around. You will have 42 stitches in this round. Now join with a slip stitch to the third chain. The next four rounds will be the ribbing round. Uh, that is your uh, round two, where you worked front post and back post double crochet stitches. So repeat the round four times. The leg warmer is complete. Make one more. 
so as i said if you want to make adjustments in the circumference that you can increase or decrease the chains in multiples of three if you like the pattern please give me a thumbs up and also you can support my channel by subscribing to it thanks for watching